good morning, good afternoon, or good evening for whenever you're listening to this short devotional this morning. I was reminded in the last couple of days that there are some people who are experiencing being in the desert, uh, people who are experiencing being alone, lonely, sad, isolated. And as I thought about that again this morning, this passage of scripture came to my mind, Psalm 63. And I want to share with you a few verses from this Psalm, because I do think it, I think it expresses uh, what a lot of people are feeling in these days. This, this experience of feeling like you're in the desert, um, like you're longing for something more, that you're sad, lonely, isolated, but there's hope also in the passage. And Psalm 63 verses one and two says, you God are my God, earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. It's a longing to be filled again. It's a longing for some fresh water for a fresh experience for perhaps a fresh anointing from God the psalmist knows of that and he reflects in the psalm about times in the past when he has remembered when God has been there for him he remembers that God's love is better than life and that his lips will glorify God for that he remembers in times of loneliness and isolation. He remembers in the darkness of the night. Verse seven says, because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you, your right hand upholds me. And so my friends today, I hope and pray that if you are experiencing that a desert day, if you're experiencing moments of loneliness and isolation, that you might be able to remember that God is your help and that you can sing in the shadow of his wings, that you will be able to cling to him because he upholds you. And I also want you to remember that God sees you. God sees me and God sees you. He knows what you're experiencing today. And there's a beautiful song. It's a long song. It's called The God Who Sees. I'm going to attach that song to this devotional thought today. It's about 11 minutes long. If you have time to listen to it as you, after you listen to this short devotional thought, I encourage you to do so. If not, perhaps some other time today, you'll just be able to sit in the quietness and listen to that song and remember that God sees you he surrounds you with his love and with his care, and he will uphold you, and he will be with you during this desert experience. So know, my friends, that I pray for you. When people come to my mind, as God often brings people's names before me, I pray for you. And so if God brings you to my mind today, I'll pray for you. May you be encouraged today. God bless you.